Hey everybody, so I'm starting to get really into quantized models and so I'll probably be making a series of videos on quantized models and so this is hopefully the first one which is a quantized version of Llama V2 7B model running in the completely free version of Google Colab. I do have the T4 enabled. I can try to run it without the T4 uh, enabled but uh, I think that it requires some sort of GPU. I, I think it would crash without uh, any GPU whatsoever but this is the, and I'll share a link to the description of the Google Colab uh, notebook that we're looking at here. I played around with this a whole lot, a uh, lot of different things, and this is the um, best way that I was able to get it to install. I went to like different packages and different things, and so this is the most simplistic setup for me. Uh, and then so it's just a pip install of a very specific transformers. I'm saying it's pip install this specific transformers package, even if there's a later one, earlier one, I don't care. I want this one. Same thing with optimum, uh, which is our two packages that you'll need to install. And I'm saying like, I don't, I can't guarantee other versions work. I guarantee these two versions work. So like run it with this. Uh, and then also pip install auto GPT, auto GPTQ. And then so that's what I'm utilizing for all of these. And then auto GPTQ um, auto quantizes to a, a four bit uh, model. So we're like a, a quantizing by like uh, dividing by four essentially for our quantization, uh, which is getting our model down to the size that it is here. Um, and then when we look at the, after all of that code installs, this is the main code. Um, and then so just from transformers, install import common packages of uh, auto model for causal LM and then auto tokenizer and then the pipeline. So a hugging face pipeline so that we can pull in the model. Uh, and then here's the model name. And then the model name is the bloke uh, Llama 7B. Uh, uh, Llama 2 7B uh, and then uh, here's just like the parameters for the model and then here's the prompt the prompt I gave it is just tell me about AI uh, and then uh, the outputs uh, and then input IDs um, and then uh, print and then kind of just uh, like the behavior for the model uh, and then so it runs its thing uh, and then it gives me nice output and then it gives me kind of like the nice kind of like um, output that you'd expect from some models where it gives like the like it really like, it gets into emoji heavy explanations and this explanation looks good like this is what i want so for me specifically when i'm playing around with these things like i'm not expecting gpt4 behavior that's not why i'm playing around with models like a quantized 7b model i'm playing around with a quantized 7b model because when i look over here it uses four gigs of system ram and five gigs of gpu for a seven gig llm model that's exactly what I want because that means I could run this locally. I could do anything that I want with this model locally. Um, and then so I can turn this model into a lot of different things locally by being able to run it uh, and then have it run with these specs um, and then uh, be able to run it from this size. And then so again, like it's not the, the most perfect output that I'm expecting, but these outputs are nice. Like that's what I want, right? Like I, I, like I expected to have some sort of decent outputs and that's exactly I'm getting everything that I would want out of this and then so for me the quantization process is quite straightforward and quite easy uh, and then so just highlighting a few things here I'm using the bloke models <clears throat> using this model very specifically uh, the bloke AI L llama 2 7b uh, chat GPT quantized and then here's all of the specs that the bloke lays out uh, and then for the auto GPTQ, I'm just using the straightforward auto GPTQ that you can see here uh, with all of the, the uh, from GitHub with all of the different instructions and it's been around for a long time. Uh, and then you can also quantize your own models and then you can quantize your own models even in a Google Colab notebook. I'll make a future video of actually like quantizing a model in Google Colab. It, it, like there's a, uh, they make it really easy to do so, um, and then you can customize models and do uh, evaluations, etc., via Auto GPTQ. So Auto GPTQ is kind of its own thing and its own video to check out. But for in this instance and in this particular video, you just the only things that you need to know about Auto GPTQ are that it's involved in your model model name and path, and that you need to install the actual package for Auto GPTQ. Uh, and then the other thing that I want to highlight here is the bloke very specifically. And then so the reason why I don't have to go through and quantize these models myself and go through and I just 
picked the blokes quantized model is because I can go here and any quantized model that I want basically under the sun like 85 pages the bloke has of LLM models and I just want to highlight that I don't know ever since I've been like ever since I got into hugging face like a year ago um, I've seen the bloke everywhere on here and and uh, just what the bloke does I don't know I, I assume that the bloke's a, a single person but like they do amazing things and like um, this video and what we're looking at here and all of this is like because of the bloke like he makes this so much easier and so i just need to call that out and say thank you here um and so yeah if you like this type of content i'm going to leave a description for uh the link to llama b2 7b quantized in the description for this video so please check that out and then check out future videos specifically on quantization quantization is big for me very specifically this is the range of models that i very specifically have a lot of long range plans for and want to operate in so i'll be doing a lot more research and a lot more commentary uh, on these types of models thank you very much